In a very recent plot twist that has surprised Hollywood, the glamorous couple, actor Joshua Jackson and his wife Jodie Turner-Smith have officially called it quits, leaving fans and industry insiders in disbelief. Despite recent public appearances during New York Fashion Week that painted a picture of marital bliss, sources from the inside reveal that hidden tensions, drastic lifestyle changes, and relentless work schedules have led to the end of their once enviable union. It was a huge lifestyle change, especially for a free spirit like Jody, but they seemed so devoted to each other, so everyone's shaking their heads, one source said. Jody and Joshua's hectic work schedule started to weigh on their relationship starting over a year ago when they were both filming projects and not always in the same place. They tried to make things work and were taking steps to help their relationship and deal with managing their busy schedules. From an outside perspective, things looked great for a while, but privately they were slowly growing apart. She asked me, yeah, on New Year's Eve, we were in Nicaragua, it was very beautiful, incredibly romantic, we're walking down the beach and she asked. It can be remembered that the couple first met at Usher's birthday celebration in 2018. And by August 2019, speculation about an impending wedding had arisen as they were seen getting a marriage license in Beverly Hills. It was confirmed they exchanged vows on August 18, 2019. Another insider, as reported by the Daily Mail, provided additional insight into Joshua Jackson's emotional response to their separation. According to the source, Jackson wasn't in favor of the divorce, but it became evident that their romantic relationship was no longer ideal. They concluded co-parenting their three-year-old daughter would be a more suitable arrangement. Joshua's heartbroken over the impending divorce, he always thought he would be married and grow old with his family and everything would be happily ever after, the source said. He had the dream scenario in his mind and Jody was his person and the person he thought he would be with forever. The actor, renowned for his role as Pacey on Dawson's Creek and Christopher Dunch in the Peacock crime show Dr. Death, acquired his first residence in Topanga, California back in 2002. Remarkably, Jackson and Jody lived in that home home alongside their daughter Janie and Joshua's family. According to the listing for the home in the LA Times from September 23rd, the Topanga residence is a spacious four-bedroom, two-story home nestled on a sprawling 1.7-acre estate. It boasts panoramic ocean views and features three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a dining area, a family room, and two cozy fireplaces. The heart of the home centers around a luxury swimming pool complemented by expansive deck that offer spectacular views. The home was already worth $1.98 million in 2019, but Josh only paid $865,000 for it in 2002. In 2017, Joshua Jackson sold his West Hollywood home that he once shared with ex-girlfriend Diane Kruger for $5.76 million. Initially, the stylish residence located on North Orlando Avenue featured an attractive stucco and cedar exterior, and it appeared to be a difficult property to part with. With features including brass chandeliers inspired by the iconic Sputnik design, decorative concrete and glass subway tiles, charming Julia balconies, dual-sided fireplaces, handcrafted wooden built-ins with a mid-century flair, and accordion-style glass doors, the architecture and design of this home is a checklist of contemporary renovation and new construction trends. However, come May 2017, the former partners made the decision to say goodbye to the 4,931 square foot dwelling, putting it on the market for $6 million. The spacious and modern primary home boasts an expansive design, steel pivot doors that seamlessly connect to the outdoor areas. A dual-sided stone fireplace serves as the focal point in the heart of both the living and entertaining spaces, while the kitchen seamlessly flows into the dining room. The home boasted five bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms adorned with wood and concrete elements. Access to the second floor is granted by a wooden staircase enclosed in glass adorned with a charming vintage Italian light fixture dating back to the 1960s. On the second level, you'll find two guest suites in an open family room. The master suite offered floor-to-ceiling glass that opened to the sunken courtyard, plus a glass in case shower. The walk-in closet had its own central island, making it more of a dressing room in this case. There's also a two-story guest house on the 0.28 acre property right by the pool. The one bedroom, one bathroom structure has its own full kitchen and there's even a fireplace inside. 
Incorporated within are eco-conscious amenities ranging from solar panels and heated floors to a rainwater collection system. Jackson also once co-owned a Hollywood Hills pita terra with Kruger, which was sold way back in September 2014. Located on a prime street in the Hollywood Hills, the property was walled and gated for the utmost privacy. Originally seeking $1.45 million, they managed to secure $1.48 million for this three-bedroom, 2.5 bathroom residence. They originally acquired it in 2009 for $1.32 million. Upon entering, you'd find a welcoming living room adorned with a cove ceiling, a brick fireplace, and an elegant animal hide rug. The kitchen is a true standout, boasting black marble counters, charming honeycomb tile floors, a central island, a spacious double wide range, and a porcelain farmhouse sink that overlooks the garden. The master bedroom impresses, with poured concrete floors, a wraparound deck, cozy fireplace and a big walk-in closet. The adjacent master bathroom was equally luxe, featuring a generously proportioned marble floored shower and French doors that lead to a tranquil terrace. Upstairs, the second bedroom offers convenience with an adjoining remodeled bathroom and direct access to a terrace. Additionally, the guest suite opened onto a deck and a gravel-filled terrace that spans almost the entire width of the house. Further down, you'll find another deck, basking in sunlight and surrounded by lush trees and vegetation. The lower level of the home offers a serene haven for guests, providing a complete suite of rooms at their disposal, including a bedroom, a comfy sitting room, a compact kitchen, and a well-appointed bathroom. Now, as we say goodbye to the homes Joshua Jackson once cherished, they remind us of the transitions in life. It's also a reminder that life is a continuous cycle of hellos and goodbyes, and each farewell paves the way for a process promising hello to the future. After concluding today's house tour, answer this question for me. Real estate can often play a big role in breakups and divorces, celebrity or not. So what would you choose to do when dividing your real estate if you found yourself in a similar transition? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.